hello guys welcome back to the channel once again today i'm super super mega excited to be sharing this list with you guys because today i am gonna be sharing a list of international lesbian series that i would highly recommend you all to go ahead and go watch on netflix yes on netflix but before we get into further details please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and if you have watched any of this series slash shows please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments because like i always say your opinion does matter so let's get right into it so first we're gonna start off with alma after surviving a bus accident in which almost all her classmates passed away Alma wakes up in a hospital with no memory of the incident of her past. The series is Spanish and has one season available. It was released in 2022 and the series actually got two queer characters which are Deva and Nico whom also have individual strong roles in the show and basically it's a drama horror mystery that I feel like it was super underrated when it got released. I get it, it only got one season but I still feel like it's 100% worth the watch especially for it for having in this case queer characters in it. So if you guys haven't watched Alma go to Netflix and let me know your thoughts on it. Then we have the Detox. Roommates and cousins Manon and Leia try a typical detox for a month after one can stop herself from cyberlinking her ex and the other surfer from a bad buzz caused by her terrible music manager. Menon is gay and Carla also comes in the picture and she is queer as well. The series is actually from France and was released in 2022 and it's a comedy. According to a review, it's 100% worth the watch. I don't know until what extent does the lesbian situations develop, but I can assure you guys that they are queer and they definitely have their own individual also storylines on it. And I feel like that's very good, not just about the romance, but also, you know, to present something more than romance. Then we have Luna Nera. In the 17th century Italy, Ade and her brother live in a world where women who are suspected of witchcraft are prosecuted, hunted by a group of calling themselves the Benedanti. The series is Italian and has one season available. It's a drama fantasy and there is a lesbian couple on the show which have very very important roles and basically in my opinion like they're basically like the main characters in this case it will be tabby and lipsy there's also another connection that develops between others on the cast in this case i'm not 100 sure until what extent but one thing i can for sure for you guys is that tabby and lipsis they are actually a couple and you can see that they really really love each other but they know that the circumstances that they are in makes their relationship difficult so this one is highly recommended and then we have the standard Karim survives a devastating trauma along with first six six of the fellow students at the elite private high school on a remote island in the Andamdan Sea. It's a mysterious event that started happening on the island. Arisa Ying gets into a situation ship. The series is from Thailand and it's an adventure drama and mystery and it actually got one season available and was released in 2019. So basically Arisa and Ying, they get super close with one another. One starts liking the other but it's also like they have very confusing feelings towards one another and it kind of kind of it's complicated that's why i say situationship and not actually full-blown relationship if you get it you get it and if you want more details regarding it go watch the stranded then we have kuron twins daria and mauro return to their mother's small hometown kuron in northern italy the mother anna fled the town pregnant with the twins after her mother tragically passed away those three arrives at the family hotel which has been closed ever since so basically that's the whole plot of the story there is a lesbian couple and romance and it develops between daria and mickey the series is italian and was released in 2020 and only has one season available and basically it's a mystery thriller yes but one thing i can for sure you is that the couple actually do get you know camera time and I, there's something that i look forward to a lot when it comes to queer lesbian you know lgbtq plus couples camera time and this one actually even though it didn't get all the camera time but i feel like the camera time they got was good 
Then we have Roch Sid. In an early 80s Polish town, a street worker and a young leader are found deceased by the police's handling of the case. Makes two journalists be very, very suspicious. Anna and Teresa work together on the crime, but then they start to have a forbidden love affair and actually ends up in a love triangle situation. It's actually a Polish show and has two seasons available. Yes, two seasons. And it was released, the first season was released in 2018 and it's a crime drama. Yes, unfortunately, the couple had to part ways because, like I said, they were in a love triangle. But one thing I can for sure you is that the chemistry and the moments they had together is definitely for me a 9 out of a 10. Just the way they came together and how... The, the conversations they were having, you know, everything was just like for me top notch. Then we have Feria La Luz Mas Oscura. Eva and Sofia will have to face the horrible crime that their parents seem to have committed before disappearing as left behind 23 victims. This is the journey that Eva and Sofia will undertake in Feria. There is a lesbian romance that actually happens between Eva and Mar and it's basically far from simple because it's like the two girls they really really love and not love I would say like each other and have a very strong attraction towards one another but once again it's super complicated for them to get together but one thing I have to say is they are so cute the series is Spanish and was released in 2022 and it actually has one season available and if you guys haven't watched it I would highly recommend recommend you all to go do it and of course we all know that in this case when it comes to content like this uh, Netflix does have subtitles then we have Joanna Inez this series dramatized the life of Joanna a re-owned writer nun and influential political figure in the 17th century Mexico it shows Joanna struggles as she tries to find a safe place for her to pursue her feelings and what she definitely definitely believes in so basically she is a nun that actually ends up following in love with another woman and we all know that that is 100% a forbidden love affair so she basically tells her story and how everything how she came to this how she fell in love it's pretty pretty good I feel like this one is super underrated that's why I just had to go ahead and include it it was released in 2016 once again, it's Mexican and there's actually three characters. It's Juana Maria and also there are another one called Leonor. So hey, if you haven't watched it, what are you waiting on? This one is definitely 100%, like I said, underrated. So yes, that's basically it. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I also want to say that I have activated the super stickers to the channel just in case any of you would like to make a small donation that will help us out a lot you know to grow to take the channel to the next level to develop and you know just to do better and better and better but before we go i just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for all the love and all the support and let me know your feedback on this series until the next video i really hope you all have enjoyed this list and goodbye